everyone, my name is Renee, and I didn't really have anything planned for this week's video, and so I decided I'd just show you guys what I plan on finishing up this March. It's not March, this April. But first, I wanna do this really, really, really small book haul really quick. I went to my favorite thrift store over the weekend, and I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but out of the corner of my eye, I noticed something. Da, 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 da. I happened to pick up this beautiful copy of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, I already read this book, it's just I didn't own a copy because the copy that I bought, I gave to my English teacher for Christmas because she wanted to read it. And so I was like, you know what? Merry Christmas. And so that's where my copy went. And so I just saw the paperback version and I was like, oh my goodness. It's fate, $10, why not, right? But then, right next to it, is the one and only Hollow City, which is the second book in the duology. I don't know if it's a trilogy or a series or whatever, but it's the second book and I'm so excited to read it, which I kind of already started. I'm on page 39, I'm on page 39, and I'm so excited to finish it, oh my goodness. I know I'm a little late and I know everyone's probably already read it, but I never got the chance to read the second one. And so to find the first and the second together at once for a cheaper price than normal, just thank you God. Anyways, moving right along, I was reading Hollow City in one of my classes today, which you shouldn't do. Pay attention when you're in class, kids. And then I realized that not only did I have Hollow City in my backpack, I had like three other books in my backpack that I'm currently reading. And so I decided that I would just kind of make a video talking about the books that I've been reading this month. Now before we get into that, I have an announcement. I finally finished The Lovely Bones by Alice DeBold. On my note card here, it says I started it on February 28th and I finished it on April Fool's Day, which is April 1st if you weren't aware. This took me the longest time to get through and so I'm just letting you guys know I finally finished it. <laughs> Now, let's get into the point of this video. Now, first and foremost, I started reading Crest by Marissa Meyer this month. Currently, I'm on page 127, but Goodreads would tell you I'm a liar because I haven't updated my progress in a while, but that's okay. Crest is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles, and because it is part of a series, I don't want to like give anything away by telling you what it's about, but basically, you follow Cress's point of view, who is supposed to be Rapunzel, and Cinder's point of view, and Ka Prince Kai's, the usual stuff. Secondly, I started The Maze Runner, and I don't have a bookmark in here, but I know that I finished chapter one already, so I kind of don't really need a bookmark. If you aren't aware of what The Maze Runner is about, or if you haven't seen the trailer or the movie, then basically what happens is this guy, Thomas, wakes up, and he's surrounded by all these other young adults, and they all have to kind of find other way through this maze that surrounds them. I think they have to find their way through it, I'm not completely sure. But like a day after Thomas shows up, another girl shows up and obviously that kind of stirs a little commotion throughout the community because she's the only girl in the community of young adults. And that's kind of important. <laughs> but yes, I watched the movie and I really liked the movie and so I really wanted to read the series. And actually I wanted to read the series for a long time, so I mean. Oh well. Next I picked up Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I got this copy at Goodwill, so thank you Goodwill, I guess. Now I don't really know much about this except for it's a dystopian novel and um, the back says, his wife has taken, his people enslaved, driven by a longing for justice and the memory of lost love, Darrow will stop at nothing to bring down his enemies, even if he must become one of them to do so. For the first time, Red will rise, hence the title Red Rising. <laughs> now this has been a popular read for a little bit. I know I'm kind of jumping on the bandwagon a little late, but I decided to finally start it and I am currently on page, I don't know, I don't have a bookmark in. Renee, you're so stupid sometimes, what in the world? Yeah, so I will definitely update you guys on my progress with this, on my Goodreads. And lastly, and obviously, I am reading Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. This just kind of follows their journey after what happened in the first book, and if you haven't read the first book, I don't really want to give it away, so that's all I'm gonna say about it. But expect a book talk on it soon. I'm so excited to finally have this. And it's a beautiful copy too. So I'm really happy about it. Oh, also, it's a trilogy, it's a series. Not completely sure, but it says sneak preview of the third Peculiar Children novel. So 
That means there's a third one, which means it's a trilogy. I don't know if there'll be a fourth, but we'll see apparently. So once again, thank you for watching my very short video on what I'm currently reading. If you're reading any of these books, or if you've already read them, or if you want to read them, comment down below and let me know. All my social media links are in the down bar below, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with a new video. Bye!